Hello, Painting with a Purpose friends. Um, here is your red truck that you guys have been so patiently waiting for. Um, the colors you are going to need, a light blue. I'm kind of working off of a couple different paint trays. You're going to need a light blue. So I've got some blue and white that I'm going to mix together. You're going to need red and green, white, black, a couple different shades of brown, and gray. All right, let's get started. You're going to need your two inch brush, your small flat brush, and a small and medium round brush. Don't forget your cloth and your water. So we're going to start with that blue that we're kind of kind of mix up on our paint tray with that light blue. And we're just going to do the top half that light blue. And we're not going to go all the way to the edges, but we're just going to come in here We're going to come just below the halfway point. Go ahead and wipe that blue off. Make sure all the blue is off. And down here, we're going to do white. And again, it does not have to go all the way to the edges. Give it a hair. And then we're going to come back up in our blue. We're going to add some really heavy streaks of white. So kind of like right here. We don't want it to blend. But like right through here. Maybe up here. We still want to see that blue. And we still want to see the white. I'm actually going to wipe this off and add a little bit of my gray through here. Just like so. Now, when this dries, we'll go back and do our edges. So go ahead and rinse your two inch brush. We're gonna need it again. But rinse that blue and white off. And when this dries, we'll start our edges. Now that my background is dry, we're going to come in with our tan color. So your lightest brown. I actually have three different browns here. I've got the light, the medium, and the really dark. So we're going to come in with our lighter brown and we're going to go all the way across the bottom. And we're going to go all the way across the top. For medium brown, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to run a skinnier line of the darker, the medium brown across the bottom, across the top. Now, with a really, really dark brown, we're going to use our smaller flat brush. So your big flat brush, your two inch flat brush, you're finished with. 
and we're gonna use our medium, our smaller flat brush. So with the dark brown, you're just gonna really come in right along these edges. finished with the edge. Go ahead and rinse that brown off. And we are going to use our white paint to outline our truck. So the back of the bed is going to be just above that white and blue line, and it's just going to be a rectangle. I'm going to kind of round that top edge, come down just below the white and blue line, straight across. Go ahead and fill that in with white. It comes up just inside here, kind of around at the top, and goes back down. And just fill that in with white. So here is the outline of our truck. Now, wipe that off. And with your gray, you're gonna come in with your medium round brush and we're gonna do his bumper. And it just kind of sticks over the edge. With that same brush and your black paint, you can wipe this the gray off. We're going to do the tires. And the tires just stick out here. I'm going to switch brushes. Thank you. 
Now, with your medium flat brush and your red paint, we're going to paint your truck red. Go ahead and rinse that red brush off. We're gonna let our truck dry for a few minutes and then we'll finish up. Now that our truck is dry, let's add some detail. So with your um, small round brush and black paint, actually let's do his bumper first. His, uh, not his bumper, his um, license plate. So with your small brush and your gray paint, we are going to add that one over here a little license plate just above the bumper so it just kind of sets oh. kind of center it and it doesn't come all the way down and we're gonna outline it in black but it does come up above the red And then just fill that in. Okay. Rinse the gray off and let's do some outlining detail with the black. And the license plate actually says X M A S. It's really small. And we're going to add a little bit of brown. Just a little bit. Kind of through the truck bed. I'm 
I'm gonna add some white. All right, with your medium flat brush, we're gonna add some blue, just the very tip. We're just gonna add some blue shadow here underneath the truck. Just gonna kinda go in a zigzag motion right down the center there. Wipe that off and with your same brush and your green, I darkened my green just a little bit, so I mixed a little bit of dark green with the bright green. We're gonna add our Christmas tree, and it's so easy peasy with this medium flat brush. And it's gonna start from the left hand top corner and it kinda sticks out. So give it a little point, and then you're just gonna come down and it's gonna be like at an angle. And you're just gonna have this Christmas tree that's hanging out in the back of your little red truck. Once you have that outline, take your brush and you're just dabbing all the way down, filling in. with your small round brush and your gray. We're gonna add just a little bit of a window. Kind of sticks out. And that was black. Gonna add a little bit of black detail. Let's put some mirrors on our truck. So with your red paint. It's gonna stick out just a little bit. And do one on the other side. Outline those in black. And 
And we're going to let our tree dry for a little bit before we add some snow to it. But you're going to take the plastic end of your brush and we're just going to add some little dots of snow. Something else you can do is write your last name. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the browns and I'm going to use my small round brush and my black paint. Now this is something that's optional. You can do, you can leave it just like it is, which we're going to add some white snow to our tree, but you can leave it just like it is or you can add your name. So I'm going to put So you can put your the year you got married or you can just do your last name up here. That's completely up to you. Let's add, I know your tree is probably still wet, but let's add a little snow to it. So with your small flat brush and your white paint, and if you start to pick up the green, you're going to need to wipe your brush off. which. I probably will. So I'm just going to add a little bit of snow through here. And I'm just kind of dabbing it. And we're gonna actually outline our tree in black just to kind of define that edge. And it does not have to be perfect. Um, a neat little trick to make the black outline go a little better is to water your black down. And we're just gonna kind of outline Add some silver mirrors. So just right inside this red. You're going to use your gray. And we are finished. Check back for more videos. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Bye guys.